stay in touch. I've got a lot of friends. Uh, we, we keep in contact with each other. I said, hey, Jack, whatever's happening, please call me anytime, any place. And I said, as long as you do the same for me. The one thing that makes the biggest impact where I see the biggest difference in not only his mood, but his functioning overall is after he's been with people. And the contrast is, if he hasn't done anything with anyone for a day, his affect is lower, his energy is lower, his, his outlook is doomed. So simply getting out, making those contacts, phone calls, getting out to his exercise classes, calling a buddy. Um, Mike's lucky. He's, he's such a likable guy. Mike's, Mike, he's easy to love. So through the years, through the decades, he's, he's amassed this huge, you know, pool of friends that he can draw from. And, and at times, like, you know, Mike's going through a hard time. And man, his friends have just been the best. They're calling, they're emailing, they're texting. You know, you're not who you used to be. And I think um, for anybody, but I think especially for men, especially for big, strong, macho football players, I think it's really hard to face that, to admit that. And so to be able to reach out for help is hard, but it's so important. That social component, maintaining that and making the extra effort to reach out, that's one of the, the, the biggest things that make a difference.